Hello guys, if I here today, I'll be showing you how to animate blocks and items. Alright, let's get right to it. I'll just open up paint.net and show you the file. Now the first frame would be called frame 0, this would be frame 1, frame 2. And basically, how to animate it, we have to make this text file which tells Minecraft how to animate the item. As you can see, it, I list the frames here. I'll, I'll paste this in the description, this whole code here. Or I'll just put it up for download so that you can use it for yourself. Or you can just copy it if you're that patient. Alright, now I'll just show you what you can do with this. You can also play an animation in reverse after if you wanted to by doing this. Now let's see how that looks. Save. Now you always have to reload your texture to see what happened. And that glitched. That's weird. Let's open up the text file again. Let's try putting another comma there, I guess. All right. Does it work? Okay, there. Now, as you can see, it plays through all the way to eight, and then it counts back down all the way to one, and then it reverses because that's how I have it set here. Now this up here, this frame time value, this determines how long each frame is displayed. So if I set it to 1, it would play at the fastest speed. Let's, re let's reload this. Alright. Now it's going like, it's spazzing, it's like having a seizure. It's crazy. Now I'll show you what else you can do. Now there's this other, th this here is optional. It'll work without this, but... What this does is, you can set it to play a certain frame for a certain amount of time. So if I set this to like 50, say, it'll play the first frame for like 50 in-game ticks. Let's reload it. Now, see, it stops at 1, and it replays. It'll always go top to bottom, and then restart after. And there's some construction going on in my house right now, so it's kind of loud, but you'll have to bear with me. But yeah, that's pretty much all there is to animating right now, so as long as you remember that there's a zero frame at the top, and as long as you get your code right, it should work. Now, another thing I want to note is that your MC Meta file has to be the exact same name, or else it won't work. It has to be png.mcmeta. It can't be just .mcmeta at the end. It has to match it exactly. I'll just zoom in on that, I guess. Alright, thanks for watching, guys, and hope it was helpful.